Ibrahim Tror has made it his mission to bring Burkina Faso out of dependence on foreign aid and into full self-competency, which comes as no surprise that he wants to completely exert control over Burkina Faso's mines. Burkina Faso has long been recognized as one of Africa's leading gold producers, and gold has always been seen effectively as the Burkina Faso's main natural resource. But as you already know, despite these abundances in natural resources, the country has historically struggled to exert control over the extraction and management of its gold reserves. When President Ibrahim Tror took office in 2022, he recognized this long-standing issue and promised to address it as a priority alongside the country's insecurity crisis. President Tror's commitment to taking control of Burkina Faso's resources represents a significant shift in governance priorities, departing from previous practices in which resource exploitation frequently benefited external interests rather than the local population. President Tror hopes that by seizing control of the country's gold reserves, he can ensure that the wealth generated by these resources goes directly to the Burkina Bay people. This strategic focus aligns with larger efforts to promote economic empowerment, social development, and sustainable growth within the country, reflecting a commitment to harness natural resources for the collective welfare and prosperity of the nation. Under President Ibrahim Tror's leadership, Burkina Faso has launched a concerted effort to regain control of its gold mining industry, which was previously dominated by foreign companies and plagued by jihadist activity. To accomplish this, Tror's administration has put in place a number of measures aimed at organizing and regulating the mining sector in order to maximize the benefits of gold production for the country and its citizens. One key initiative implemented by President Tror's government is the suspension of gold and other precious metal exports from artisanal mining, as announced by Mines Minister Yakuba Zaber. This suspension, effective immediately, is a proactive step toward cleaning up the mining sector and reorganizing the marketing of gold and other valuable substances. The government's temporary halt on exports aims to streamline and formalize the artisanal mining process, ensuring that it operates within a regulated framework that prioritizes transparency, accountability, and fair compensation for miners. Furthermore, by directing groups with exportable materials to work with the National Society for Precious Commodities SONAP, the government hopes to centralize and oversee the export process, thereby improving oversight and ensuring that gold production revenues are properly managed and reinvested for the benefit of the nation as a whole. The military government of Burkina Faso's decision to suspend the export of unprocessed minerals, particularly gold, is consistent with similar measures taken by other African countries, such as Zimbabwe and Namibia. These decisions reflect a growing trend among African nations to assert greater control over their natural resources, while maximizing the benefits of resource extraction for the local economy and population. Burkina Faso's ban on the export of unprocessed minerals aims to address long-standing issues in the mining sector, such as informal and unregulated mining practices, environmental degradation, and revenue loss due to inadequate oversight. While the full impact of this decision on Burkina Faso's economy is unknown, many experts believe it is a positive and necessary step toward taking control of the gold mining industry. Gold is an important economic resource for Burkina Faso, serving as the country's primary export commodity and source of revenue. Artisanal mining accounts for a significant portion of gold production in Burkina Faso, employing approximately 1 million people. Regulating and formalizing this sector is critical for ensuring equitable wealth distribution, increasing transparency, and promoting sustainable development. Furthermore, by prioritizing mineral processing within the country, Burkina Faso hopes to increase the value of its natural resources while also stimulating local industries, fostering economic diversification and long-term prosperity. The infiltration of terrorist and jihadist groups into Burkina Faso's gold mining industry is a serious threat to national security and stability. These groups take advantage of the informal and unregulated nature of artisanal mining operations to seize control of gold mines, using the proceeds from the illegal gold trade to fund their terrorist activities. 
As Captain Troer stated in 2022, the fraudulent export of gold not only aids terrorism, but also undermines the country's economy and exacerbates security concerns. Terrorism has had a negative impact on Burkina Faso's mining sector, as evidenced by the recent closure of industrial mines and abandonment of numerous gold panning sites. This has resulted in a decrease in overall gold output, exacerbating economic challenges and impeding the sector's potential for growth and development. By suspending gold exports, the government hopes to disrupt the flow of funds to terrorist groups, reducing their ability to commit violence and destabilize the country. Furthermore, this measure aims to address the underlying challenges confronting the mining sector, such as illegal mining activities, insufficient regulation, and environmental degradation, with the ultimate goal of increasing the sector's contribution to Burkina Faso's economic prosperity and socioeconomic development. President Ibrahim Troor's strategic moves to assert control over Burkina Faso's mining sector go beyond the suspension of gold exports, as evidenced by the opening of the country's first mining waste processing facility in January 2024. This milestone represents a significant step forward in mining byproduct management, demonstrating Burkina Faso's commitment to sustainable resource utilization and environmental stewardship. The facility, located in the Kasudo Industrial Zone near the capital city of Ouagadougou, represents a significant step toward developing a value chain that maximizes opportunities within the extractive industry while minimizing its environmental footprint. President Chor's attendance at the inauguration ceremony emphasized the significance of this achievement as he proudly highlighted the facility's technological prowess and its role in establishing Burkina Faso as an African continent leader in innovative mining practices. President Troer praised the nation's ingenuity, noting that the facility's machinery was entirely developed in Burkina Faso, demonstrating the country's capacity for technological innovation and self-reliance. President Troer reaffirmed Burkina Faso's commitment to advancing its mining sector in a sustainable and locally driven manner, opening up new avenues for economic growth and socioeconomic development. President Troer's remarks at the inauguration of the Mining Waste Processing Facility emphasized his administration's commitment to self-sufficiency in managing Burkina Faso's natural resources. By investing in the development of local expertise and infrastructure, the government hopes to gain more control over the country's mining sector and reduce reliance on foreign actors. President Troer's invitation to other African countries to use Burkina Faso's technology and facilities reflects a larger vision of regional cooperation and resource management, positioning Burkina Faso as a hub for sustainable mining practices on the continent. The involvement of local experts in the development of the mining waste processing plant demonstrates Burkina Faso's commitment to nurturing indigenous talent and promoting technological innovation. The collaboration between the government and Golden Hand, the plant's operator, demonstrates the value of public-private partnerships in promoting economic development and industrial growth. Burkina Faso aims to strike a balance between state control and private sector participation by establishing joint ownership of the plant, with the state owning 40% and Golden Hand South Africa owning 60%, ensuring that the benefits of resource extraction are equitably shared and reinvested for the country's development. The establishment of the mining waste processing plant is an important step toward greater autonomy and sustainability in Burkina Faso's mining industry. Facing the media and speaking about the waste plant, the Burkinaid Minister of Mines expressed his satisfaction, stating that our country has clearly decided to assert itself and fully assume its sovereignty in all areas, with a special emphasis on the mining industry. As a result, it has become critical to find endogenous ways and means of recovering as many metals as possible from mining residues. So, what are the implications of this mining waste plant? How will it affect Burkina Faso's industry? The establishment of this new waste processing plant will boost gold production because residues from gold mining operations can contain significant amounts of gold. This means that gold production will rise dramatically. Similar to this initiative, President Troer announced the construction of Burkina Faso's gold refinery in November 2023.
The CEO of the refinery's co-managing company, Marina Gold, stated that the refinery is designed with a daily production capacity of approximately 400 kilograms of gold, demonstrating the country's commitment to optimizing its primary resource. According to Semple, the first 22 karat gold bars will leave the refinery in 11 months, creating 100 direct and 5,000 indirect jobs. During the refinery's launch, Captain Troyer stated, there's no longer any question of us taking our gold abroad for refining. We'll refine it on site because we know the exact composition of the raw gold that comes out. That is very important. The refinery, which is being built in collaboration with Marina Gold, a local company, will include a jewelry store and the future headquarters of the Societa Nacional das Substances Presuces, which is overseeing the project on behalf of the state. Following the launch, the military government replaced Simon Pierre Brusson, the mines minister under Yacuba Zebra, in December. This move came as the country sought to boost gold production after a 14% drop in 2022. In addition to all of these changes, the government announced in October 2023 a new gold sales royalty for gold prices above $1,500 per ounce, which is a direct departure from the previous flat 5% royalty applied between $1,300 and $1,500 per ounce. According to Bloomberg, the government signed a decree on October 27 to implement the new gold production levy, bringing the country's royalty system in line with that of neighboring gold mining jurisdictions. Currently, a 6% levy will apply when the price of gold trades between $1,500 and $1,700 per ounce, and this rate will increase to 6.5% and 7%, respectively, when the price of gold trades between $1,700 and $2,000 per ounce. If the gold price exceeds $2,000 an ounce, the percentage will rise to 7%. All of this demonstrates Captain Ibrahim Chor's unwavering commitment to transforming and nationalizing Burkina Faso's mining sector. But this shouldn't come as a surprise, given that Captain Troer has been vocal about the importance of African countries taking control of their abundant resources since he was first brought to public attention. If you recall, during the Russia-Africa summit, Captain Troer delivered a speech that distinguished him from other African leaders. He explained how he had always wondered why Africa was poor despite its abundant resources, and he came to the conclusion that it was because Western countries and their companies collaborated with weak puppet African leaders to create the African continent as it is today. Captain Troer promised to do things differently from this point forward, and as far as we can tell, he has kept his word. His bold steps in combating the Western hold on Burkina Faso's resources and ensuring better opportunities for Burkina Faso citizens will undoubtedly propel the country to new heights. Indeed, Captain Abraham Troer has transformed the Burkina gold mining industry, and in a few years, citizens will begin to reap the benefits of all of his plans. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a subscribe so more people can view this.